Good morning, and welcome to this Thursday morning edition of Good Morning God on this 24th of October. <laughs> so good to have you join me. Let's start our time together with song. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He's so good to me. Our scripture this morning is from Second uh, Kings chapter 20, verses 12 through 19. At that time, Marduk Baladan, son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent Hezekiah letters and a gift because he heard of Hezekiah's illness. Hezekiah received the envoys and showed them all that was in his storehouse, the silver, the gold, the spices, and the fine olive oil, his armory, and everything found among his treasures. There was nothing in his palace or in all his kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked, What did those men say and where did they come from? From a distant land, Hezekiah replied. They came from Babylon. The prophet asked, What did they see in your palace? They saw everything in my palace, Hezekiah said. There is nothing among my treasure that I did not show them. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord. The time will surely come when everything in your palace and all that your predecessors have stored up until this day will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord, and some of your descendants, your own flesh and blood, who will be born to you, will be taken away, and they will become eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. The word of the Lord you have spoken is good, Hezekiah replied, for he thought, will there not be peace and security in my lifetime? Hezekiah was one of the good kings. But even good kings make mistakes. The illness that uh, this passage is talking about, uh, Isaiah had come to Hezekiah and said, hey, God says, get your affairs in order, you're going to die. And Hezekiah prayed and, and cried before the Lord. And even before Isaiah got out of the palace, the word of the Lord spoke to him and told Hezekiah he had gotten a reprieve. But word of his illness had spread and and Babylon sent envoys to him with letters and, and gifts. And here's where Hezekiah messed up. He showed them all of his riches. He didn't take them to the temple and, and show them the goodness of God and, and try to influence them apparently to, to worship the one true God. But instead, it seems he was a little prideful and, and showing off his wealth. And Isaiah told him that there would be a penalty for his pride. And Hezekiah was like, whatever the Lord wants, at least there's going to be peace in my time. Perhaps a little short-sighted of him. But as I said, he was one of the good kings, and even good kings can make mistakes. How are you being short-sighted? Is there, is there any, any pride in you that needs to be reined in, like Hezekiah? Something for you to consider today as you pray before the Lord. Let's go, let's go to the Lord in prayer right now. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. We are thankful for the example we have in Hezekiah of, of what not to do. Help us not take pride in our in our possessions or our position, but rather let us take pride in the fact that we are children of the living God, that we have an inheritance with you through Jesus Christ, your Son. We pray these things in his precious name. Amen. And now, beloved, go with God, and God will certainly go with you, and have a blessed day.